what's up guys Dorian from NJ Bike Life here down in Seeger at the beach beautiful day we're having we're gonna have even nicer days coming up can't wait pretty excited I figured I got out of work pretty early come down grab the Grom take this bad boy to the beach see what kind of heads I could turn down here I haven't been down to the beach in a while of course you guys know I asked Anthony and of course you guys know I look behind no one's there Anthony bails like usual I mean he didn't say he was gonna go but I asked him what he was doing he said no nothing and then I said all right I'll come get you we'll go to the beach no answer so yeah typical Anthony that's all good though Anthony doesn't like to ride motorcycles anyway he doesn't even have his license but uh yeah, so out on the Grom, hit the beach, I'm just killing miles just to get my um, Finbro ECM updated to my O2 sensor, just did the oil change on the bike, 700 miles, uh, it actually didn't look too bad for 700 miles, the, the oil actually looked pretty good, but I threw in some AMS oil. 1040 metric so at least now I know the oil will run a little bit cooler full synthetic and with my high speeds I know that I'll be able to keep my motor cool uh, I'm gonna wait for the Finbro to kick in and kind of reset itself because right now the bikes idling at 2,000 rpms and that's pretty high for me so I'm going to uh, wait till it kicks in and then it, it might drop, it might not drop. We'll have to see what it does. But I know you guys haven't seen the bike yet. So I'll pull up over here somewhere and let you guys check the bike out. This looks like a good spot. Oh, I thought there was another small bike, but there's not. Alright, so here it is guys, 2014 Honda Grom, nothing's done to it, you know, don't mind the front blinkers that aren't there, the boomerangs, I, I took them and got them painted, well I didn't take them, I painted them myself, but yeah, I got the purple levers, the bike I hope to wrap in purple as I keep saying, but we'll see if that ever actually happens couple mods to go over colder uh, spark plug I got in there full M4 exhaust which the powder coat is starting to fall off already I don't know if that's normal but I don't really care I got um, fender eliminator I got cold air intake 14 tooth sprocket new handlebars and new grips Pretty sweet, right? So let's ride the beach. I mean, that is why we came here, right? There's probably a bunch of bikes out today. And they're all just gonna laugh at me. That's a pretty cool looking cruiser bike. So, when I told people that I first got the Grom, a lot of people were freaking out that I went out and bought a Grom. Which doesn't make any sense to me because these bikes are like the best commuter bikes. They're small, they go highway speeds, and they're cheap as anything. You know, like I, I the, the 250. I sold that bike, I wasn't really interested in riding the dirt no more, I didn't have anyone to ride the dirt bike with, so I sold that, and with the money that I was able to get, that's a cool elliptical bike, the money I was able to get from that bike, I bought this bike and I was able to do half of the mods to it, just off of the sale of the dirt bike, so, man it's windy down here, look at that flag. America! You guys know the rest. So, yeah, I was it. Whoa! 
the strip. I don't know. I don't know how the cops roll down here, and my exhaust is pretty damn loud. But I I sold that dirt bike for 2,700, right? I bought this bike for 2,400. So that's 300 free dollars I had to buy the exhaust. Now I could have gotten away with just buying the exhaust, and that's it. But I have all those mods that I listed before, and now the bike actually can do 60 miles an hour comfortably, 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 whatever the word is. The bike can now do that 60 miles an hour with no issue at all. And, and, uh, I don't have to worry about holding up traffic or anything like that. The only thing that I need to do is stay to the back roads, which I do on the bigger bike anyway. I still have the FC6. I don't plan on getting rid of that bike anytime soon. But this bike is a lot easier to take to work. I work close to my house, so I don't want to take that big ass bike to go to work five minutes away. You know, so this bike right there was able to get me to that point where I wanted to be. Able to take the bike to work and not have to strain, you know. That's cool, red and blue. Same bikes, just different colors, very cool. They look like they're like a rented bike or something like that. They, they were so clean. I gotta cut my hair. My hair keeps digging into the back of this helmet. I'm over it. But, yeah, I was able to buy this bike with the profits that I was able to get off of the Grom, I mean off of the dirt bike, and then, and then some. So, while, like, the bike when I bought it had 300 miles on it. It was in PA, the person was asking like 26, so I talked them down to 24. And I'm glad I did, because I didn't know how many mods I was going to be putting into it. I'm glad that, like, at least I got some money off of it, because I could have definitely had this bike be more so with all said and done now this bike is like a 300 and or three thousand three hundred dollar bike and i think if i went to sell it i could probably get that much too the lady was like coming into my lane like crazy and like she wasn't even on her phone she was just sleeping at the wheel it looks like that's just my assumption but that's what it looked like so yeah i couldn't not get this bike I got a bunch of friends that ride these bikes now. Well, I actually had one friend that rode this bike, but he has a bunch of friends, and now I have a bunch of friends. So that's one of the bigger positives about this bike is that now I at least have people to ride with. Even though today I am alone, tomorrow I will not be alone. There's, there's supposed to be a pretty big Grom meet going down with at least, at least five people would be cool because that's more than like normal wow dude you got a ferrari so you park right on the side of the street wow the other good thing that i like about this bike that also sold me on it is that it's the smallest littlest practical bike out there and everybody when they see this bike doesn't really know how to respond they don't know if it's serious they don't know if like it's a little pit bike if it can even be on the road it's a very sociable bike, and I've already gotten a bunch of questions about it and already had a lot of conversations about it, which for me works out, you know, running a YouTube channel. I just got my business cards. They say, oh, my God, what is that bike? That's so weird. Oh, yeah, no, it's a Honda Gram. I make videos with it all the time. Here's a business card. Boom. New subscriber. So there's a lot of ups to this bike. Um, the only negative I... I found about this bike is that it's too easy to mod like I spent a lot of money very quickly and if, the, if that's a negative then I don't know what what would be another negative because that, that's pretty much the only one because right now it's comfortable as anything I'm sitting on it I'm 5'10 250 pounds and I'm able to cruise like no issue at all on this bike the wind doesn't even really bother me. It's about to bother me now that I just broke from all those buildings. I don't know. It's still not even bad. You know, I can still I can still cruise with one hand. But it's like 
everybody is talking smack about this bike. Oh, it's so little. Oh, I can't do the speeds. Blah blah blah. But how fast are you guys going? Like I've never sped even on my 600. Like the fastest I've gone is well, I've gone fast, but the fastest I feel comfortable going and the fastest that I want to go all the time is like if the speed limit is 65, I want to do 75 max. Because two reasons, I'll tell you. One reason, I don't like tickets, right? I don't want to pay the government any money that I can keep in my pocket. And two, I don't need to be going that fast. I'm not in a rush to do anything. I've never been in, the, in a rush to really do anything. So, there's, there's two of the perfect examples on why I don't need to have a big bike like that, you know? So that's why I bought the Grom. If you guys are looking to get a Grom and you're a bigger guy, I would definitely recommend it. I see people upwards of 300 pounds out there riding Groms and having a blast. And that's what this bike is all about. It's about having fun. I can't rip wheelies yet, although I would really like to and I'm really trying to. I can't rip wheelies yet. So it's fun if you can rip wheelies. I can't do stoppies because I don't want to flip over the front, but it's fun if you like to do stoppies. And it's just like, just a bike that you don't have to really care about riding. You don't have to really put too much thought into. Just hop on the bike, twist the throttle all the way back, and eventually you'll get up to speed, and you'll just hold that the whole time while sounding completely obnoxious for going the speed limit, which is awesome to me because I've never had that opportunity to be that cool, and now I do. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, give it a like. If you want to know anything else about the Grom or have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. Um, I haven't tested the two-up ability of this bike yet, but I will soon. You can count my words on that. Oh, the other thing about this bike, it's a great beginner bike. It sucks to get out of traffic, but if you live in an area where you don't have that much traffic or the speeds aren't too high, if you buy this bike, it's low to the ground, you don't have to worry about that. It's very easy to ride because the clutch is like non-existent, you don't have to worry about that. You can never break these motors, it's a 125cc motor, it's Honda, obviously, you can never break it. So, just buy this bike and tell them that NJ Bike Life sent you and they'll give you a discount, I'm sure.